Welcome back. Another sunny and hot day on tap. And it's only going to get hotter, folks. Looking at that sunrise time for tomorrow, 6.38 a.m. And it will set at 7.31 p.m. Those days are definitely getting shorter. And looking ahead at your day planner, by 9 a.m. already, we'll be at 84 degrees. And then by noon, 97. Yikes. And then by 5 p.m., 98 degrees. So again, if you're going to be out, take it slow as you go and make sure you have your sunblock. Greenwood, good evening to you. You're at 80 degrees with a northerly wind, very light, three miles per hour. That humidity, 82 percent and a dew point, 74. So it is feeling a little a little steamy out there. Greenville, how you doing? 80 degrees. Then we have a wind out of the north, northeast at five miles per hour, and humidity 76%, and then that dew point 72 degrees. So it is feeling mighty uncomfortable outside. Currently, as we look around the region, Vicksburg 79, 81 down in Jackson, 77 in Winona, and again, 80 in Greenwood, 79 in Clarksdale, 83 in Monticello, and 79 in Monroe. So it is still pretty warm out there, pretty toasty. Starkville, 80 as well. So it is feeling a bit toasty. Now, looking at that heat index, what it really feels like, it feels like 88 in Monticello, it feels like 82 in Pine Bluff, it feels like 81 in Bastrop, and it feels like 77 in Winona. So it's still feeling pretty warm outside. Low temperatures tonight, we're not going to get much relief out there. The temperatures will be in the in the mid 70s, but still you factor in that humidity and those dew points, it's not going to be a whole lot of relief. So your air conditioner will definitely get a workout. Yazoo City 74, Chula 73, Carrollton 71, Grenada is 70, and the cool spot being Batesville is 68 and Charleston is 69. So again, not a lot of relief. And again, this is why I'm talking about the dew point. The amount of moisture is being held in the air. Anything above 60 degrees is going to be uncomfortable on the skin. Looking at Bastrop at 69, Monroe at 70, Vicksburg 73, Jackson at 71, and the hot spot, Clarksdale 77. So it's not feeling all that bad good out there. So there's some things you want to keep in mind if you're going to be out and about tomorrow. If anything, if you can kind of stay under the air conditioner, I would suggest that. But if you must be out, remember to wear your loose fitting light color clothing. Remember to take as many breaks as possible from work or exercise. I really don't see anybody doing exercise, but those diehard folks that are going to be doing that, you really want to take it easy, drink plenty of fluids and Stay out of direct sunlight if possible. Now, looking at that future cast, again, we are dominated by high pressure. I'm going to stand on this side so you can see this. This high pressure system is pretty much locked over our area. So this is pretty much blocking everything from happening, from moving into our area. So this is why things are just staying hot. And we're not having any changes in this cycle, at least through the rest of the week. Now looking at our radar and clouds, again, that is a heat advisory. And again, I expect for the National Weather Service to put that into play later on tomorrow sometime. And as we travel up the coast here to the mid-Atlantic states, things are clear and pretty cool there. That is just the extra extra tropical cycle of Dorian. We don't have to worry about that. There's some showers and storms towards the central United States, but again, we won't see any of that action. Now, looking at the temperatures throughout the nation, we're looking at 83 in St. Louis. And the next chance for rain, very slight on Tuesday. Outside, isolated chance, 20%. If you get a chance to go at the pool, make sure you have your sunblock. And again, by 2 p.m., 100 degrees. Looking at the Yazoo River levels, we are below flood stage. And the same as well for the Mississippi River levels. Now, looking at your forecast for tonight, we have clear skies. It will be warm, even though you have that light breeze out there, not much relief, 74. And then for tomorrow, we're going to see 100 degrees, blazing hot. Heat in the sea is going to feel like 107 out there. 
and who it's going to be ugly. It really is. And that seven day forecast, no relief in sight. We might see a shower, but I doubt it very seriously, Denise. It's going to be in the upper 90s all week, so it's going to be foul. <laughs> The best way I can say, wow. <laughs> I was at the dragon boat race today, and mm -hmm. you know what? I thought it was going to be really uncomfortable out there and mm -hmm. everything, but as I was out there, I got into the energy and the excitement of all the folks out there cheering for their team. Uh -huh. It was a lot of fun, and it was so much fun that you kind of actually forgot about the warm weather, so it was really nice. Did, did you go early? Well, I think I went around 11 o'clock. That's why it wasn't bad. Oh, okay. If you if you would have went like in the afternoon, let's say about about one or two o'clock, mm -hmm. it would have been different. Okay, well, I'm glad <laughs> I went at eleven o'clock then. <laughs> All right, thanks so 